Long time no see, little missy. How have you been? Don't be patronizing, you jerkwad. Yes. How many days do you think it's been since we last met? Like five hours? No interest on your interest. You, you. Oh, even I wouldn't have guessed you were this low. His name is Loathe. What? How dare you say that to me? Me? Unfair? Incredibly. The world regards me as a fair and compassionate businessman. But even my patience has its limits. No more, Mr. Nice Guy. You can work off your debt with your brothers. Glide, teach this girl some manners. Yes, Mr. Lowe. All right, you, come this way. Ow! Let me go! What did I say about doing this? Looks like the end of the line for you. What happens now? They've gone, Mr. Lowe. And good riddance. Such an ill mannered young thing. But you'll make an excellent worker, don't you think? I admire your ingenuity, sir. Trapping talented diggers in debt. Forcing them to work for you. Very profitable. And very despicable. You're hardly one to talk, Glide. <laughs> <laughs> wow! So, Authentic evil gloating. And proceeding on schedule? Yes, sir. I believe we'll be ready to begin soon. I see. That means it's only a matter of time before the entire world is mine. <laughs> I don't need more evil laughs. That's entirely unnecessary. Here's your sweet. Enjoy. Shut the hell up, Birdbot. Locked up the serve bots too? Not very friendly, are they? What do we do now, Miss Drawn? We're not gonna let them get away with this. We'll wait for our chance and then pow! What's going on back there? I'm trying to write a letter. And I can't concentrate with all that noise. Three, two, one. Dear Tron and everyone. Really? You don't you can't tell? I'm alright. I got into this by myself. And I'll get out of it by myself. I don't know how, but I will. If I'm not back in a year, Tron, I want you to take over for me. That voice. Is that you, Teasel? How big of a room is this? It's me, Tron! Teasel, can you hear me? Why can't they shut up already? Uh. Jeez, so annoying! I can't concentrate! Huh? Three, two, one! For a second, I thought I heard Tron's voice. You did, dummy! Oh, I must be worse off than I thought. I'm starting to hear things. Oh, get a hold of yourself, man! I haven't come this far to lose it now. It is you, Teasel. What are you doing? Whoa, the Tron! Are we in the same room or not? Whoa, 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 what are you doing here? Took you long enough to notice. Yeesh. You're here to bust me out, aren't you? <laughs> That's my sister. Oh, Tron, you're wonderful. I couldn't ask for a better sister. Do so. How do we get out? Um, I hate to disappoint you, but, um, they kind of got me, too. You, too? Oh, I'm sorry, Tron. I guess I'm not much of a brother to let something like this happen to you. Oh, it's not your fault. What about the Babu bot? What is Lo trying to do here, anyway? Good question. Tron. Have you ever heard the story of the Sleeping Colossus? 
No, I haven't. What's it about? Is it literal or figurative? It's an old legend that diggers tell. They say there's a giant treasure of the ancients, the Sleeping Colossus. And that whoever wakes it will be strong enough to rule the world. Neat. An ancient colossus, huh? I've heard stories like that before. Well, this time, it looks like it's for real. The Golden Refractor, which is said to be the key to waking it, has already been found. Right here. Here? That's right. And in order to look for it, Loathe has been shanghaiing diggers and making them work for him. I've heard rumors that they've already found the Colossus underneath this base. Really? But I bet it's just a giant reaper bot. Remember a few years ago? There was something about a giant robot, but it was nothing in the end. Maybe. But that refractor was like nothing I've ever seen before. It was huge! This just might be the real thing. Were you the one who dug it up? Yep, I was. I don't like this, though. Working for someone like Loth. Yeah, just because we're pirates doesn't mean we're common crooks. <laughs> so, shall we get started? Started? On what? Well, now that I know where you and Bon Bon are, we can go get that loath creep. Babu? Oh, so you are here. Oh, Bon Bon, you're away. <laughs> That's good. Gessel Shaft? Come in, Gessel Shaft. They didn't take away the communications? Wow. Incoming transmission from Miss Tron. Catching it through. Very incompetent villains, I've got to say. Oi! Anyway, I found Teasel, which means it's time to put our rescue plan into action. After you pick us up, we're going after Lowe. Got it? I want you to implement plan 0024. Tron, over and out. What? What do we do? Plan 0024? Do you not know it? wonder in their voice. Wow. I've got to decide what weapons to use and who to take with me. All right. I mean, I, I guess that makes sense. All right, then. Well, I kind of know what I'm going to do here. Crazy. The serve bots got to save the world here. All right. But robot in question, well, we're just straight up using the Gustav. All right, then. Well, as much as I love my old Gatlin gun, I feel like seeing as how we're not really going to be in the business of taking stuff, I don't see any problem with just blowing everything up to Kingdom Come, you know? So let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, that's a real good choice, I think, I think. And otherwise, we should be fine. Kind of weird that I'm playing as just a serve bot now and not Tron Bon. Find Tron and Teasel in the dungeon and rescue them. So, just throwing this out there, and then that means... oh, That doesn't feel right at all. And I only just noticed that there's a freaking teddy bear under the play timer. That's adorable. <sighs> I wonder if that was there before. In which case, it might be Tron's. In which case... Oh, that's cute! That's so cute! All right, then. Just blow everything up and take names. Yeah, kick-ass take names. We're gonna... That's exactly what we're going to do. Anybody who dares mess with me, you're gonna get yourself kabloomied! There you go! I don't even entirely understand what that was. Looked like one of those flipper things that you could see in Mario 64 that if they scooped you up, they'd fling you around. I don't know if that's actually what it was! Well, how about that? How about nah? How about nah, 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 nah? 
damn bird bots. Uh, they don't even show up because they, I guess you... I, I guess the whole point of them being around afterwards is to yoink them. So I guess that they're, that's not a thing. It makes sense that they wouldn't pop out. Because you can't scoop them up with the serve bots. Unfortunate. Okay, well, let's see. Bird bots! Not today! Haha! -ha! What you gonna do about it? Now, get out of here, you nerds! Legitimately. What the? Okay, are, do you guys ever die or give up? Are you really gonna be this way? Because I will continue to blow you. There. They really are like serve bots. They're basically just functionally immortal. That's really frustrating. All right, well, you guys go in there. Try to find something. Ow. No, no one there. All right, cool. Would you back the actual hell off? God, you things are the worst. Seriously, how lame and terrible do you have to be to be wannabe serve bots? My God, these little dudes are infinitely better than you in every capacity. Jesus. Okay then, fine. They do eventually die. Another reason that the serve bots are superior than the bird bots. That much is true. All right then. No reason to not check every single door. All right, then just keep blowing them up. Just keep blowing them up. Can't stop me. Can't stop. Won't stop. Plus, I've got such good armor and whatnot. It's all good. Just pelt them with a never-ending supply of explosions. There. Now you're the deaded. Yeah, no. Check inside. See if there's anybody in there. No. Okay. I mean, it wouldn't really make a whole lot of sense for the doors that are closest to us to be the ones that have them in them, but still, you know. That could be exactly what the game is trying to expect of me. Trying to throw me for some kind of loop, perhaps. It's not the first time such things have taken place. Alrighty, come along now. We are gonna save all them peoples. Can I blow up this wall? It looks like I might be able to. No, I cannot, but it would have been cool. How dare they make their walls out of unexplodanium? Oh, hello. Can I do something about that, maybe? No? Can I, like, serve bots? Can you do anything about that? No? It was just digging in the wall for no reason. All right. Upon closer inspection, I think that those are actually just meant to be kind of bulldozers. That makes sense. All right, then. Come on, now. Bring it on, nerds. Nerd bots. Nerd birds. Nerd birds. Bird nerds, I, either, no matter what you want to call them, don't matter to me. As long as they are ultimately exploded in the deaded and no longer causing chaos for me. Get out of here! Go find a grounder to scratch or whatever. Straight up, get out of here! How many bazooka shots do you need to get upside the head before you finally decide, hey, maybe I should stop trying to fight them? I mean, my goodness. Anybody in there? Still nothing? All right. You know, another thing that this game could potentially have programmed itself to do, but it probably didn't. But I mean, it's not something I would... It was something I would have expected in some games. Program it so that no matter what you do, the last door you check is always where Tron is. That would... That would be devious. All right, well, if nothing else, this seems like a relatively important door. If nothing else, I suppose something we can assume, perhaps, is that... Eh, come on! is that we're freeing other people from these prisons. That might be a thing. Let's assume that. It's making this whole thing worth more worthwhile. Pretty sure Tiesel and Bon Bon aren't the only ones they ended up kidnapping, so let's just assume that they held a bunch of people over the place. Yeah, there's no one there. I, I know they're saying that, but I choose to believe that there are people in there, and they just mean by no one, they mean not the people we're looking for. That way I can feel like I'm actually accomplishing something and being like a super great, awesome hero and whatnot. And not just, you know, missing a bunch. Alright, well. This one isn't even guarded, so... And if... Uh, but, oh! The one door that wasn't guarded? There you are! It's Tron! Good job! Thank you! It's Tron! It's an honor! already let's get out of here wait before that huh now what we're not leaving here empty-handed 
We're gonna take everything Loth found. Ha! <laughs> right, right. Good idea. <laughs> we'll make him sorry he ever heard the name Bon. <laughs> So, he keeps saying sorry, so, uh, Teasel, are you Canadian? <laughs> I mean, a lot of Canadian actors did, you know, voice dub work for this sort of thing, so it would make sense. Anyway, so, then... Ha! <laughs> it's cramped. That's funny to me. Okay. Although, I guess we're just kind of ignoring Bon Bon in this equation. Probably for the best, I don't think they'd fit. I honestly can't say that they would. Anyway, ow! All right, so that's the way it's gonna be, huh? All right, then. Don't mind me. Just gonna blow you up to kingdom come. There we go. Ah, whatever. I'll take the tackles. Not like it really amounts to much in the end. Anyway, we'll show you to mess with the quirky mini-boss squad, of which I assume the Bond family is in the games where you play as Mega Man. That's the implication I've always been given on the subject. Isn't it always crazy how the comedic relief villains are only, you know, incompetent and ridiculous when they're not being, you know, in control? Like, it's the exact same thing with, like, Team Rocket. Sure, they'll never defeat Ash, but they will defeat literally anybody else ever if they, if they get messed with, which is always fun. It's like, they're only destined to lose because they're going up against the main hero. Against any other opposing force in the world, they're unstoppable. I feel like it's the exact same thing with the Bonds. I like that dynamic a lot, gotta be honest. All right then, well, that's all good. Let's go! Oh, all right, just kind of doing a little bit of points for style there. Didn't really work, hit my head on the rail. That's the opposite of looking cool. Huh. Ominous. Colossus's head? I had no idea it was this big. It might be a little trickier to get this out of here than I thought. Always thinking about number one. Hmm, Teasel? You mean Tron? Because she's number one. Glide? Miss Tron, up there! I don't know how you escaped. But here you are all together. I used a bazooka. One big happy family. Hmm? Thinking about what to do with you was keeping me awake at night. Doubt. Now that we've got the Colossus, we don't really need you anymore, do we, darlings? Ever hear the expression between a rock and a hard place? I think everybody has. Your situation. Uh-huh. If you think we're going to go quietly without a fight, you better think again. That's right. Now that Teasel's back, we don't have to play nice anymore. Understand? Hey, Drawn, you'll let me drive, right? Sorry, big brother. Let me handle this. Let's go. Hey, Drawn. You know, Glide talks with a lot of swagger and, and confidence for somebody who, by all accounts, lost their original fight against Teasel. That's all I'm saying. All right. Yeah. That's how we're going to be doing things, huh? All right. Fine, 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 fine. What the? You've got a freaking Gundam arm? A freaking beam saber? Get out of here with that. Fine, I'll just tank your hits. You think I give a damn? I don't. I'm gonna blow you halfway to Kingdom Come, and you can't stop me, you jackass! Oh, look at that! You lost again! Who could have ever predicted such an unbelievable outcome? Huh? <laughs> You're more than just a pretty face, aren't you, my dear? Real creepy coming from him. For a biped. You're literally a biped, too. You walk on two legs. The real fun is about to begin. Now you will see true power. Activate ultimate glide transformation. What the? Master Bon Bon. Bon Bon, where did you come from? 
the ceiling, apparently. <laughs> Good job, Bon Bon. I guess you owe Glide one too, didn't you? <laughs> this isn't the end. Yes, it is. Oh no. Just you wait. You haven't seen the last of us. I think I have, actually. This isn't over. <laughs> fell over like dummies. Oh, good times. And for the record, that's three to us, zero you. You won only because you were in a cutscene. No other reason. Looks like they're not giving up yet. Bon Bon, I'm worried about the Gezel shaft. You get back and check on it. Babu. Oh no! I'm guessing Loathe is probably in there, probably causing some kind of chaos. They've activated it. It's alive. That could be an issue. So they're bringing out the big guns, huh? We must have scared them. I don't think this one's going to be easy. Clyde was able to buy me enough time to get the Colossus activated. All I have to do is push this button right here. Ignition. You mashed the entire control panel with your fist. That was not a button push. Well, those look really important and things I should probably shoot and destroy. All right. Playtime's over. It's time to get serious. Let's begin. How do you make the letter B noise without being able to close your lips? Have you ever tried that? Without the list, it doesn't work. Let's see. Where shall we begin? How about conquering the world? <laughs> well, why not start bigger? Uh -oh. He's not stopping. He's going to bring the whole place down. This is Tron. We need to pick up fast. Hold it on my signal. Tron! It's too late. The ceiling's collapsing. Man, what a worry, Wart. Have a little more confidence in yourself. Or at least in Tron. I mean, come on. She's got this. Whew, that was a close one. Told ya. I don't even remember how we got out. <laughs> Can... I guess miracles do happen, huh, Big Brother? Mm-hmm. Now it's our turn. Definitely didn't just not animate it. Stand ready. Prepare to fire. Target the Colossus. Launch missiles. Hit him with the pew pew cannon! Whoa! Did... No, okay, that did not work. Uh oh. Ow! That's a problem! Oof. Again. From the HQ? She's bleeding! Well, now, quite frankly, you've pissed me off as much as you possibly could ever manage. And now I'm going to destroy that Colossus along with it, your entire existence. 
Y'all gonna die, Loath. No cartoony explosion for you with a soot face. No, no, you're straight up exploding into a million pieces. I'll blow up those shiny things. All right, rip out all of the Colossus's energy pylons. Gotcha, gotta construct additional pylons, but I gotta destroy them. Use the serve bots to get the ones on its head. Can do. All right then, so... I guess I gotta rip them out. That's easy enough. No problem. I can even use them as weapons. Ha <laughs> ha, nerd. Gonna blow you up. Oh, that was easy. Ha! <laughs> You're pathetic. Oh, and another one immediately springs back forth, huh? Fair enough. All right, well, the bad news is you die very quickly. The worst news is that means you're completely pointless and worthless and you won't really factor into anything whatsoever. So, uh, sorry about your useless and miserable existence. Ha! <laughs> yeah, there you go. Come on! You got anything else? Oh, I can destroy them with their own energy things. That's cool. I can throw them at another one. That's good to know. That's very good to know. All right, then. And here we go. One, two, buckle your shoe. Three, four, out the door. Five, six, pick up sticks. Seven, eight. I, 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 I shoot you to death with a bazooka. All right. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, you go ahead and do that. Ha! <laughs> Doesn't really matter. You can hit me all you want. I'm still gonna take all the pylons. You can't stop me. I made it a too tough of stuff. You can't stop me. Not even gonna ask the serve butts for help. Don't need them. Later, hitters. Yeah. Ha 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 ha. All right, now correct me if I'm wrong. Ain't that all of them? Oh wait, no. It said some on the head. I gotta use the serve butts for that. Fair and dandy. Oh, that's a bit of an issue now, isn't it? Hey, get out of here, you. Look at you trying to actually be something of value. You know that's never gonna happen. All right, then I gotta... Yeah, there we go. Well, I aimed. Now I just kinda gotta hope that the serve bots can make it work. Looks like it did, actually. All right, then hang on. Hang on. Yeah, go, 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 once again, guys. Yeah, there we go, no problems. Just take the hits. It's fine as long as we succeed in the end. That's all that matters. That really should have worked. It didn't, though. It didn't, though. It should have worked, but it didn't, though. Lord. How many of you freaking things are there? Okay, please. Please do be not existing with your stupid face any longer. Yes, thank you, please. All right. Now, come on. I just need to... I just need to do that. There we go. Boom. No more of that. And, yeah, now you just... Don't have power. What am I gonna do about that? It stopped moving. Pretty big design flaw. We've lost, Mr. Loath. The, the, those little, they won't get away with this. They just dead. Even if it uses all of our remaining energy, we should still deal with them. We will at least break even by collecting our refractors and then escaping with them. Nah. This time, I'll be sure I destroy them all. No, you won't. All of them, especially those little yellow ones. Yeah, no. You ain't doing nothing. Although, you do have apparently such a gargantuan life bar that you, it goes right off the screen. That's kind of hilarious. All right, well. Just dodge the hits. Keep shooting. I seem to be doing some level of damage. It's just... They got a lot of health. Ow. All right. I'm just checking to see. Am I doing something wrong? Hmm. Perhaps so. Regardless, use the items. Let's use some of them there. E-tanks. Make up for some of my, you know, mishaps. Mostly because I've just been taking hits instead of actually trying to avoid them. But now I'm left wondering, am I actually doing any damage at all? If I could just see a little bit of a difference, it would really mean a lot. Just the tiniest bit of a difference. Maybe shoot as it's firing? Mm, that doesn't seem to be doing too much of a difference. Uh, serve bots. Do what you can, I guess. 
All right, well, there's clearly something amiss here. Oh, I know. No, I have been doing damage this entire time. Its health bar was really just that ridiculous. That's kind of hilarious, honestly. All right. Interesting that you would try a ground pound maneuver in a place where it wouldn't do anything. Uh oh, it's purple. They've got purple. Purple nonsense. Purple rain, purple haze, whatever you want to call it. it doesn't really matter. There we go. Your health bar was just ridiculous. Wow, I don't even know how you did that one. All right, well, kudos, I suppose. That was a neat little maneuver you had. Doesn't really amount to much, though. You're still going to lose. Bada bing, I just won. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. You're both going to explode, and it's going to be great. Well, yeah, she wasn't dead. Barely. Come on. Let's finish this. I don't like the implication she was that close to death. Yes, Miss Tron. That's awful. Let's blow them up again and steal all their stuff. We did it, Miss Tron. What's happening? What's going on? You're going to die. Why does this have to happen to me? Because you're a scumbag? I was really hoping they'd blow up. Wow, the Gessel shaft was bigger than I thought it was. As far as I'm concerned, they are turbo dead. Hell yeah! And that's what happens when you mess with Chun Butt and the Surf Butts, Jack Ha 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 ha! We're awesome. Good times. Does Chun Butt have a special voice line for every possible Surf Butt? If so, that's amazing. Totally can. I suppose you're right. All right, I'll help you. You really mean it? After all, I owe a friend a favor. <gasps> I don't know what that means, but I don't <gasps> Just save me. Are we gonna give it we gonna give it to cop lady? Ron, are you sure you want to let this man live? <laughs> Yeah, it is. Oh, please be what I think it is. Because she didn't deserve all the trouble. I never noticed it before, but you've grown up, haven't you, Tron? I've always been this way, Teasel. You just never realized it. Always awesome. But if our dear departed mother saw the way you run around like that, shooting at everything... How could I ever explain it to her? Still, <clears throat> you did good, Tron. I'm proud of you. Yay! And I imagine you'd explain it to her about the same way that you would explain how you're doing it? Tron was already aiding you in it all, so what difference does this really make? Whoa! What's this? Who are you? What's the 
problem, Officer Denise. Denise! Have you finished your report yet? Captain! Hmm? Wait. These two are on our most wanted list. Denise! Y y yes ma'am! This is incredible. I don't know how you did it, but you did it. I can't believe you managed to capture these two. You, of all people. She sure did. I was wondering if I should fire you. I'm glad I waited. Congratulations, Denise. You mean I was going to be fired? But now you're not. This means I can keep my job. Hey! However, these two are dangerous. You shouldn't have gone after them alone. I don't want to see this kind of reckless behavior again. I expect a full report on my desk tomorrow morning. If it's not there, you're fired. Oof! Another report? Yeah, but you pretty much got it made in any other capacity, and boom, and Tron even called you a friend. Like That's adorable. Friend out pretty good there, Aww. She's not my friend. Yes, she is. I was just making sure we don't have to worry about Lou. The you called her your friend. No take backs. If you say so. No take backs. Well, I guess that's that anyway. Now we can all get back to work. That's right. And this time, you're going to take me along, too. I suppose we could. After all, we wouldn't have gotten out of this without you. Thanks, big brother! Babu! Yay! Oh. Oh. Ah! I get cute pictures! That's so awesome! Oh man! Oh, ladies, gentlemen, everyone in between, that was that that was a misadventures of Tron Bond for the PlayStation One, and I freaking love this game. Denise Marmalade? <laughs> that is an amazing name. Oh, this game was so much fun. Oh, this is every bit the, exactly what I needed. Oh, after the last few games kept emotionally manipulating and, and torturing me in every capacity. Oh, I just needed something cute and fun and wonderful, and that is everything that I got here. Oh, I hope you guys deeply, super enjoyed watching this, because... This is a phenomenally good game. It, I can see some of the rough spots, and I can uh, I can see how there were places that could be improved, but like marginally so. I'd say really only its its biggest flaw was maybe the fact that it's a bit short, and they kind of had to sort of even then, even though it was short, they kind of had to pad it out because two of the the, the six different missions were basically just you know uh, shipment container puzzles. Because I'm guessing those are probably the easiest to program. Understandably so. But I get the impression that this was probably a bit of a budget game. Like, maybe they were only able to just barely put it together? If so, then, I mean, major kudos to everybody who worked on it. Because this was a lot of fun. And if I'm right, then they were able to make a lot out of a little. And... Even though none of them are ever going to hear anything I have to say on the subject. Well, I, I sincerely hope that they're proud of what they accomplished. I super love this game. I'm so glad I finally got to play it. And, uh, yeah, okay, I guess last things last. Once again, I, I hope you all enjoyed yourselves. And the next time you see me, I've got another game I want to play before I move back on to games that might be emotionally exhausting. That's right, for once I've actually know exactly what I want to play before I start playing it. It's very rare that that happens, but I've got it going on this time. And you know what? You might actually be able to figure out what it's going to be by comments that I may have made during this Let's Play. Maybe, maybe not. I guess we'll see. I look forward to seeing if anybody does figure it out. But, uh, yeah. The next time you see me, we'll be playing a different game. One generation above this one, but... Sort of, kind of, 
maybe a little similar. Just a touch. When it comes to the whole, you know, commanding an army of little guys. Anyway, hope you guys had fun. I have been the Max of Few Trades. And I'll see you all next time. Later! Still, our plan worked perfectly. I pretend to be caught and check out Loathe's operation. And Drawn comes and rescues me while we get the loads and the treasure. Sure. A perfect plan. Executed perfectly. Uh-huh. Be careful, number 24. You're spilling it. But, Master Bon Bon, you're not supposed to eat that. Oh, it's too bad about the Colossus. You? What I really wanted all along was the Golden Refractor. And since we got that, there's nothing to complain about. Hey, this stew's pretty good. Did you make this number 36? Yes, Miss Trot. Thank you. Gah! Pay attention to me when I'm talking to you! Yes, Tisa, we're listening. Whatever you say. Hey there, number 32. You did a great job! I'm proud of you! Thanks! G -g Gosh, Miss Tron, thank you! I promise to keep working hard. Thank you! I know you're a hard worker. Like today, for instance. You were working trash detail, right? That's right. It took me a long time to get rid of it all. It was hard work. Very good. Very good. It was tough. That pile of junk in the storage room was really heavy for some reason. Of course, you left alone the treasure box that the gold refractor was in. Right? Huh? I threw out everything in the storage room. What do you think you're doing? Everything we worked for, everything we got is gone! Poof! Up in a puff of smoke! Just you wait. I've got something really special waiting for you in the torture room. Eek! Womp, womp, womp. Huh? Smoke? Is something on fire? <laughs> Thank you for the great game. Interesting. Very interesting indeed.